Hey beauties, this is my Saturday routine. This is what I do when I want to get things done and I need deep condition. I really don't want anybody to know that I'm deep conditioning. So I slay the face, but it's a really quick slay. So first thing we're going to do on freshly washed hair. I do have a full wash day routine, but this is what I'm doing. I'm deep conditioning, but I want to put some oils in my hair. So anything that I'm using on my hair, I will list down below, but you saw castor oil. That was the Jamaican black castor oil. And it was in, I believe the lavender scent. And then I'm going in with the curl rehab. Now in this video, I'm going to use it as a deep treatment. This is a moisturizing treatment, one of my favorites. And so first, if you look at the wash day, you'll see that I go in with oil all over my hair first. I section my hair into four parts. And so I just go from tip to root, then back from root to tip. I get my edges as well, as you'll see in a few minutes, but I rake through. I'm finger detangling. I'm not going to use any tools in this video. What I really want to stress is getting used to using your hands in your hair. It's gentle. You can apply pressure. You know how much pressure you're applying. It's the, I would say it's the easiest and it should be the most familiar way of you doing your hair in terms of your curly hair. If you can rake your hair through, that is, <laughs> that I, to be honest with you, that's how I rate products. So this one has tons of slip. And so again, like I said, I do it all over my hair, but you're seeing me now still putting the oil throughout my hair. And now I'm twisting because I put the leave-in conditioner in this one. It's all over my head, um, the oils, but now I am twisting. And then I took those four twists and I put it up in a ponytail using a hair tie, kind of like a hair knot. You see me move that's out of the way. Really don't care how my hair looks <laughs> because I'm about to wrap it. Now this is a like what you would call a lock sock. This is one for the chargers. Go chargers! LA chargers, what, what? But now I'm using a head wrap. Now this head wrap is an infinity scarf I got from Walgreens for $6. Get excited about that. Infinity scarves are really, really good because you don't have an end, you don't have to tie it. And all I'm going to do is just keep wrapping it around and voila. The wrap and it looks like I did something extraordinary I didn't and so this is how I'm going out on my Saturday and now on to makeup so I'm deep conditioning y'all while all of this is going on so which is super cool so like I said I will leave all the links down below of what I use I use something super light in terms of my foundation and now this is the no filter concealer by Colourpop six dollar you know very good though and just blending that out i'm using my beauty blender because i do want a natural look although we're gonna go you know kind of glam i do this during the week y'all too so this is just not saturday this is like weekly deep conditioning and i have to go and this is how i fit it into my schedule so now i'm taking my makeup forever contour stick i'm going to bronze with a cream product in this one which is super cool I'm just taking my real techniques brush I'm going along the jawline now after this video I realized that I did not blend around my jawline enough but this is how I do it I even contour my nose a little bit snatch my nose just a little bit just a little itty bitty bit <laughs> so I'm just blending it out and it's such a beautiful tone it's a foundation y'all too so if you want a bronze just get a bronzer a couple of shades deeper than your skin tone especially if you're tan skin you can use a bronzer well you can anybody can use a bronzer but it depends on if you want a contour or not i'm not using a contour stick if you notice this one has more of a reddish undertone which is what i love my bronzers to be and just blending out that nose contour. 
Now I'm going in for some extra glow. I wanted some extra glow, so I'm using my Custom Drops by Cover FX and just putting it on the high points of my cheeks and my nose. I'm using all cream products pretty much, except what's on my eyes. So I'm going in with this Tarte Contour palette that I absolutely love. It's a face palette. And I used a fluffy brush, but now I'm using an angle brush on my lower lash line. If you never knew what to do with that angle brush, you can use that. Because that one, sometimes people don't know what to do with it. And I'm going in with a Mally Beauty eyeshadow stick. These are really good. These don't budge and you can smoke it out. And now I'm going in with another Mally Beauty eyeshadow stick. This is like fast glam. I know this is sped up you guys, but it really does not take a long time. I'm throwing on some gloss. I think this one is from e.l.f. And using my Smashbox Primer Water just to enhance that glow. Using my Giorgio Armani Mascara. And just patting that spray into my skin. Pressing everything into my skin to blend it. This is like using all pretty much cream products on my face and just finishing off with some mascara and we will be done. Absolutely love this. Literally this look without doing this in voiceover, it takes me about five minutes to be honest. So really, really nice, especially when I have everything there. That's the whole thing. When you're not looking for everything is when you can do your makeup really fast. So every day, have an everyday makeup drawer or have a stash of stuff which you use and that is what's going to make the time go by really fast. Just throwing on some blush. I think this is the only powder that I'm putting on my face and I love it. Same thing from the face palette and that's it you guys. This is how I get throughout the day and get the makeup done, go. Is this natural glam? I would say it's natural glam and absolutely deep condition under here and nobody knows it. Holla, thanks for watching.